What's up, Power Ups? My name is Jason, and today we are finally opening up the Clara and Cyrus. What are these? Milk carton boxes? Yeah, the premium tournament collection boxes. Let's get into it. How's it going everybody? Hope you guys are all having a great day today. If not, I hope this video can help cheer you up just a little bit. Today we have the milk carton boxes of Cyrus and Clara. Let's see if these have any good things in it. They're the milk. These, these are the milk carton boxes, right? That's what they're calling them because they look like milk cartons. But yeah, this one's actually a little bit opened up from the glue. This one's pretty nice. But yes, each one, let's see, there we go. Each one comes with the full art. Why does it look like Cyrus has more than Clara? Oh no, he's just taking up two lines. Okay. So three additional foil bosses order supporter cards featuring Cyrus. We get the full art of the respective uh, Clara or box cover art. Yeah. 65 card sleeves, deck box, metallic coin, two coin condition mark markers, six tournament ready dice, and seven booster box booster packs booster boxes seven booster packs in each box which will come to a total of 14 packs in today's video so let's go ahead and open this up before we do if you are new go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button if you find yourself enjoying this video i do psa returns pokemon openings things of that sort so if you enjoy that stick around hit the subscribe it's absolutely free and it helps out a lot almost at a thousand thank you guys so much for that it's insane but yeah let's go ahead and get these opened up any particular way to open these up or do we just rip the top off? So we just rip the top. There we go. Nice little colored dice there. Oh, let's see what we have. Ooh, deck box actually looks a lot better than previous one. Ooh, the coin too. So, empty box. Let's take a look at... Ooh, that is nice right there. Okay, I thought it was going to be just like, but I guess it's the box cover, the deck box that has the cover art. And I'm going to say the sleeves too. Oh, those are nice. I like that. Nice big coin of Clara there. The packs are all in here. This is a nice deck box. And we're going with the side opening rather than the top. I like that better. Put that right there with the full art. And then you get the Clara packs or the supporter cards in the back yeah i think these are going to be just like the um the autograph cards like they did before put that there put these off to the side the dice don't mean anything and then let's get cyrus let's see how his look his deck box is going to look nice as well isn't it oh with the gyarados oh okay so it's just a, a like a uh oh a direct port from which was it? What was that? The Japan set. VMAX Climax, I think, Boss's Orders. Cyrus was in there. That's really nice. And we got, oh, nice design on the coin. Very shiny. Can barely see it. A nice design. I like the engraved marks there. Nice, nice card sleeves. Not a big fan of the yellow, but. Where's the dice? Yeah, the dice look a little bit banana ish. We'll put those off to the side the dices or whatever but that deck box look at that that is sweet that is nice right there all right so now let me grab these put these off to the side put these two on top like that let's see what packs we have oh and here is oh it's a separator we have a divider here okay so all right, sticking with how they do it in Sun and, or Sun and Moon, Scarlet and Violet with the Poison and Burned. Not bad, but nice deck box there. Absolutely love it. We have Silver Tempest, two, three Silver Tempest, two Astral, a Brilliant, and a Fusion. Not a bad pack lineup. Let's see. Is it the same here? Oh, that is a lot better. Okay, we have those there, but... In the inside, you have Clara there, that artwork. They didn't even do it for Cyrus on either side. Okay. All right, what, what gives, but... All right, we'll put them right here. 
Nah, we'll just have it like that. Really nice there. Let's see, what do we have? Is it the same? Three, two, one, and boom. All right, and we'll just open up the way they came in. Let's open up. I hope the I hope the cards are okay. These packs are mangled. All right. Ooh, now, Scarlet and Violet, it doesn't matter. Everything is the same in terms of the odds. But here, we got a black border code. That means we got something here. And it's one, two, three, four. Starting off with Fighting Energy. Woohoo! Emergency Jelly, Serena, Sigilith. We got a Solosis, Zubat, Elgem, Fungus, Sandy Gas. We got one reverse. And let's see. Uh, is it a hollow? Hollow Ariados. Bam! A hollow in this generation is still considered a hit. So, not bad. Put those off to the side. All right, let's get into Cyrus now. So six packs of Silver Tempest, mainly looking for the Lukia card. Now I already got that in the PSA 10 and it's a Black Border Code card. Uh, wouldn't mind getting the Trainer Galleries though. One, two, three, four as well. I forgot about that. Start with a Steel Energy. Lance, Archon, Clang, Togedemaru, Esper. I think uh, Lagos, Lugia is probably the best hit that we're looking for. Reverse Miracle, so no Trainer Gallery, but we do have a Hollow Dragonite. Really, really off-centered. Wow. I see, can you see the black dot? No, but it is really off-center there. That is big time. All right. So, nothing crazy in the first two packs. We did get hits in Hollows, though. Looking for at least one, no. Looking for two Ultras, hopefully one Trainer Gallery, and maybe one Full Art. Code card there. This one we got one, two, three. We get rid of that, don't need it. And we swap this and this, because maybe we have a Trainer Gallery. We got a Behem, Brixen, Sigilyph, Noibet. And that's something I'm gonna miss with Scarlet and Violet, is that I won't be able to predict whether or not we're gonna have a illustration card, I guess, compared to like a regular hollow. But frost lasses are rare. With them getting rid of the black and white borders mattering, kind of takes that away. But now, let's see, do we have a trainer gallery? We don't. We have a reverse Serena. So our first no hit pack. All right. Another white border. Starting it off with two blacks. Now we're in two whites. One, two, three, four. Swap this and this. Hoping for a trainer gallery. We have water energy, Claydol, Worker, Sunflora, Fennekin, Murkrow, Beldum. We have a Ball Toy, Sunkern, Zygarde is our rare. Trainer gallery. No, we got a Dragapult. Reverse. Okay. All right, final pack of Silver Tempest on the right side. Oh, maybe Trainer Gallery, let's see. One, two, three, four. One. We start with Fire. Ooh. We have a Glalie. Candice. Behem. Phoebus. Fennegan. Spinarak. Beldum. Krogunk. Amoongus is our rare. And... A Matang Reverse. No Trainer Gallery. Now, they're really hard to hit in single packs, but it would be nice to hit one, at least. All right. Pack was a little bit difficult. And it's a white border, so maybe another chance at a trainer gallery. Kind of tough to be hitting them right now. One, two, three, four. Swap this and this. Start with a darkness energy. Ooh, I really do love that Ninetales artwork there. Really, really cool artwork. We got Slurpuff, Fletchling, Feral Seed. I'm trying to think, what trainer gallery is in here? I think this is the the Rayquaza that is right. Let's see, do we have it right behind this? No, we got a Stunfisk. Nice. All right, now we're getting to Astral Radiance. Astral Radiance, uh, 
trying to think, what's the big hit in here? I know we have the Alternar Origin Forms, a Palkia and Dialga. And then what's the other one? We got a white border here. I know we're looking for the Starmie in here. One, two, three, four, in terms of Trainer Gallery. Um, but who's the big card? It's not, well, it's not the Origin Forms. Ah, oh, it's eluding me. Why can't I think of it? I don't remember. I like that Heracross artwork too. The evil is our rare. And a Curlia. Ah, I can't think of the big card. Who is this one? I know Arita's in here. But she's not another white. Come on. But she's not the big one here. Ah, one, two. Machamp, that's right. There we go. The Machamp is the big card here. That's the one we're looking for in terms of the alt arts. I was like, I know there's one in here that that's really cool. Machamp. But uh, let's see. Can I get a Starmie? Can I get a Machamp? We got a Chatot. Avalog is our rare. And a Bisharp Reverse. So nothing there. All right. Getting down to it. Let's see if we have anything in this Astral Radiance. Nothing there. Okay, code. One, two, three, four. Swap this and this. We have eight. All right. So if the next one is a white border, I'm probably just gonna skip it and watch it have a trainer gallery in it. But it seems like there's no trainer galleries in here, or I'm not getting very lucky with this, because that's a knocked out. All right. So let's see. Anything in here? We got a black border. There we go. Code. Just asking for a chance. One, two, three, four. Starting with eight. Steel energy. Let's have let's have a ultra, please. We can start it off with two hollows. Let's get an ultra somewhere in here. Growl it. My boy's there, so we got something here, right? Get powered on. And we do! Hey, Hisuian Sneasler. We got our first ultra on the board. So, nice. I'll take that. Alright, let's get into Brilliant Stars now. The big one here is the Charizard. We also have the Arceus Rainbow Zard as well. And I think for the Trainer Galleries, it's a Pikachu. One, two, three, four. All right. So, this and this. All right, that was one. Yes. Fe felt a little thicker there. Alright, we got Tropius. Claydol. Freshwater. Got a Sock. Truby, Riolu, Starly, Spiritomb, Lyperd is our rare, and hey, that's why I felt a little bit thicker. We have an Ariados, Trainer Gallery. Nice, we got one. All right, hoping for another one. Here we go. Next, Brilliant Stars. So, the pack lineup isn't bad. It's pretty good. Uh, code. Yeah, two Silver Tempest. The thing is, we don't have Lost Origin. Would have preferred that over, let's say, honestly, Astral Radiance. Would have definitely preferred it over Astral. Uh, Magma Basin. I don't mind the two Brilliant, and I don't mind the Fuse Strikes, because the Gengar and the Espeon are really, really nice pulls there. But definitely would have preferred to have Lost Origin over Astral Radiance. Prelude. Nothing in that one. So, but honestly, overall... Not a bad pack lineup. Honestly, I think these are roughly $35 at your card shop that you may find them for. Some may have them for $40. One, two, three, four. Feel a little bit different. Feel cards feel a little different here. Um, but honestly, with the deck box, the deck sleeves, they're pretty not not a bad buy. Especially with seven packs, if you consider that each pack costs five dollars, you're pretty much paying the box for the packs and you're getting everything else for free. Nothing in that pack. So, honestly, with the full arts too as well, the promos, I think this is a pretty good buy. Okay, so let's get into the last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Doesn't look like it because this is... Totally forgot. Don't want to show the back of these. Uh, this is Fusion Strikes. There are no trailer galleries in this set. So we got a Fire Energy. We got Semi-Seer, Farewell Bell, The Noon. Ooh, Smurgle. 
pan pour Eevee. You just take a look at the artwork because in like one or two years, these packs are probably going to be like $20 or so. And then we'll just admire the artwork when we open these. But we got a Mandibuzz and a Pal of Sand. Yeah, honestly. Two deck boxes. The promos. I mean, the coins are cool too if you're into the coins. And the deck sleeves. I really like Clara sleeves more. If I'm going to pick one to buy, I'll definitely pick Clara. I do like the deck box better. The color scheme is a lot better. I do like Cyrus's, the Pokemon behind it. Gyarados, Honchkrow. I think that's really cool. And then when you open it up, you have his face. But they don't have... I don't know why. I might have just got on a bad milk carton. Probably went spoiled. But this is got it here. But yeah, I'll definitely choose Clara over Cyrus. But Cyrus does have the better card in boss's order. But honestly, overall, I'll give this a solid 4 out of 5. It's a really good really good box the packs you get honestly the lineup's not too great but it is good enough for seven packs $35 or $40 even it's not bad with the promos and everything else but that's gonna do it only got two hits Sneasler and Aritos thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed hit the like button subscribe to catch more and until next time power ups have yourselves a great day stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next video bye